Hey guys, Mr. Three here, and this is the Yarbo. It's a personal yard assistant that can perform in all the seasons, or even tow a Tesla Model 3, which weighs around 4,000 pounds. That's ridiculous. So Yarbo, please send me this out to try. Plus, check out these future module attachments. And they also have a battery generator coming out soon. I'm super excited to find this company and see how they will advance with their technology to help us out. Or some of you may see it as us being lazy. But I can see the benefits of Yarbo Guard to help pull out the trash can or bring it back. And the sweeper, which can help clean off snow off brick and stone walkways. And the three main modules, which I will go more in depth in the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment if this is something that you like or dislike. And their Kickstarter will start on September 13. So I am unsure about the price on the unit, but it looks like this company is based out in New York. So those who are new to this, it's the same company that created the Snowbot, which surprisingly did okay. It can handle up to 12 inches of snow, but from some reviews it had issues with getting stuck or having no traction. So with this new design, I think they fixed the issue for the S1 being made out of two components. So the Yarbo body and the snowblower module. The body should have enough pushing advantage over the previous snowbot. Uh, that's my opinion. Plus, the Yarbo has more smarts and with its intelligent detection, path planning, and obstacle avoidance, this robot will figure out how to finish the job without getting stuck. It uses a two-stage design, meaning auger plus impeller and they claim it can throw a distance between 6 and 40 feet, depending on the type of snow. It has a width of 21 inches, max intake is 12 inches, and work time is 90 minutes with 5 inches of snow, covering up to 1.5 acres. It can work on a 36% slope, and the chute rotates 180 degrees. You can also select where you want the snow to be thrown. Since it's a wireless system, meaning no perimeter, it uses a precise positioning vision system. This allows the Yarbo to clean your precise location and not get lost. They show that the satellite coverage could be up to one mile. And you can use a Yarbo controller to manually control the bot like a game. But I'm unsure if the Yarbo can function autonomously without the PPV system and does the mounting position affect the performance because I do not actually want this module or system thing being you know stuck in the front of the house I want it actually on the back side because it's a little eyesore and I will actually probably put the wireless charging base in the back since I don't want to give the Yarbo too much attention in the front of the house which could also allow the vandalism or someone trying to steal it I know there's an alarm on the thing too, but hey, why risk it? A lot of you may be thinking what type of battery powers the Yarbo. It has a 36 volt, 38.4 amp hour lithium ion battery that has a low temperature resistance and can be charged at negative 30 degrees Celsius, which is good since it will be stored outside during the winter. Now let's talk about the module that will be used the most, the M1 or mower attachment. It also has a camera on the front that will help identify objects and avoid them. The RTK GPS navigation system, if works, that will be a game changer. If you look at other lawn mowing robots, for example the Works Landroid, it needs a wired perimeter and cuts the grass in a scattered pattern. The M1, you can select the type of pattern that you want, which is awesome. And it has a sensor that can detect rain or humidity, which is a good thing because you don't want this to be cutting your lawn in the rain. I would assume that the rubber tracks will destroy your lawn. I will need to test this more out in the future to see if that's an issue or not. But you can also control the Yarbo through the mobile app and can make no-go zones, schedule out when you want it to mow your lawn. And it can mow up to 1.5 acres with a runtime of two hours. Its deck is equipped with three blades and has an adjustable height of 1.2 to 4 inches. 
If this video does well and Yarbrough would like to lend me a unit to try out, I could tell you more in the future. So let's talk about the last module, the blower. I assume you would use the app to create you know, a designated leaf pile location, but from their video it shows Yarbrough making a path, which is nice, but it would be cool if there was a vacuum attachment with a bag. But you probably will have to empty that thing frequently, so this would be the least used module for me at least. It's nice that it can blow up to 119 miles per hour and 424 CFM, but I would have to try it out to make a real decision once more. Thanks again everyone for watching this video. Hopefully it informed you some on this awesome robot and the Yarbo will come out on Kickstarter once more September 13th. I hope I can get one sent out to me so I can make some future videos. So don't forget to like, subscribe, Mr. Three out.